what a surprise, surprise. Come home and find a bunch of potted giant milkweed at my front door. I'm thinking my friend Ben dropped it off. I heard his mom was saying that she would start some cuttings for me. So I'm gonna plant this stuff and hopefully get this thing going so we can start raising some monarchs, some giant milkweed. Okay. Check it out. Queen caterpillars, guys, that were on the milkweed that was delivered to me. We've got, looks like I've got little ones too. But we've got queens for sure. That is a pretty wild looking caterpillar right there, y'all. So, that's full, full grown, final end star. We've got a few little guys in here, but I don't want more eggs being laid because I actually want this plant to grow, not just get eaten down. Well, there's another big one. Yeah, there's another, he's, he's fourth. Well, I'll leave these in here another day. I'm actually gonna put it inside my flight cage here so that monarchs and stuff can't get to it because I, I actually want the plant to grow <laughs> uh, and I don't want to spray it. So that's the, that's the gig, guys. I'm gonna put it inside of here. I've got Palamedia swallowtails females in here. Palamedes. Check out that video, guys. I'm getting eggs from Palamedes swallowtails, but we're going to raise queens too and plant some giant milkweed. All right, guys. So it's been a few days. I believe our queen caterpillar is full grown. And uh, I'll give our queen caterpillar here another day before it decides that it's going to make its chrysalis. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring him in, put him in a cup and raise him through the rest of his day. Oh, look at that. This one already made a chrysalis, look at that. Um, I didn't even see, I didn't realize just how, how, uh, <laughs> I didn't realize how uh, fast these things grew. Uh, I'm glad he made his chrysalis right on the leaf there. That's very nice of him. Uh, we've got some tiny ones here, guys. Check this out. So the small queens, or is that a monarch? That might be a monarch. Yeah, it's going to be a monarch. Uh, well, what they do, they actually chew around the... Uh, the veins, and they kind of bleed the leaf out so that the poisonous stuff doesn't get into what they're eating, which is kind of cool. So anyway, um, we're, we're breeding queens, guys. We've got some great, uh, we're going to get you some images of the, the entire life cycle. Hopefully we can get, I need to get some eggs. That's what I probably should do is get a female and have her lay some eggs for us. But um, we're going to. Oh, there this, more monarchs. Oh yeah, there's, they're tearing this up. I didn't realize how many eggs were already, were already on this poor milkweed. Um, yeah, there's, we've got little caterpillars all over it. So anyway, well, I am going to, I'm going to take a leaf, and this is a little weird, but actually, is it, where's that pupa? Okay, I'll take the one that the pupa's on. And here's what I'm gonna do. It, it'll bleed. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, 
a little bit off the edge so I can put the leaf in a water pick. And I'm gonna bring it in. I'll put the, the chrysalis on something else. And we're gonna raise this guy the rest of his time, or this guy the rest of his day inside. All right, so it's been a few days since my queens have pupated, but what I also discovered that are on my milkweed are some monarchs. So I've got one, two, let's see number three right here. Let's see, all right, we got number four. All right, so what monarchs do, guys, is they chew through the vein of the leaf, and then usually you'll see the leaf bend over like that, and they do that to bleed the leaf out so that they're, they're not chewing on the leaf and all the milk comes out, so it, 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 all the milk comes out of here instead of coming out where they're eating. It's pretty smart. So I've got four. Let's see, any more? It's, looks like it's about it. All right, well, I got four monarch caterpillars. They're all big. So I'm just going to leave this, leave them in this cage until they make their pupa. And then we'll see. You know, we'll see if we can get all four of these out as adults. All right, it's been a few days and our milkweed is getting tore up. And now, I did not know that there were, there were this many monarch caterpillars in... <laughs> On this plant, uh, it must have been loaded with eggs. And so uh, they're tearing it up. I think this is the last one. I think. I think, I think, I think. Everybody else has gone off and pupated. So we've got a pupa here. And then I've looked around the plant. I don't see any more pupa. I looked around up in here on the ladder I have in here. And I don't see any pupa. But up here, we've got... We've got one there, and we've got, where did I see two more, somewhere? Ah, yeah, two more pupa here. And so we've got monarch pupa, guys, so that's exciting. We're going to uh, raise some monarchs, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this plant sit in this cage and grow, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take you off I'll raise you the rest of the time inside, you little stinker. Um, I'll raise you the rest of the time inside so you can give our plant here a time to recoup. I'm gonna feed him some leaves. He'll appreciate uh, the food and I'll appreciate taking some pictures and videos of this cool monarch caterpillar. So um, that's the update on the monarchs and the milkweed that is just getting torn up. Uh, so pretty soon we'll have freshly emerged monarchs. Stay tuned.